Hey everybody, all right, uh, Mailbag coming up in 10 minutes at 10 o'clock, just like uh, every Saturday, or every Saturday where we can manage it, I suppose. So until then, I've given these kids a hex bug and a butterfly toy to play with, to keep themselves entertained. We were just having a little bit of warm up before that with uh, um, one of the Spiro toys. So uh, if you want to rewind, you can watch that. Uh, these guys seem like they'll be good for keeping us entertained until Mailbag starts though. So in about 10 minutes, uh, until then I'm going to keep an eye on them. I also brought some uh, bubbles, some cat knit bubbles to try on these guys. We don't get those out too often because honestly, they're kind of a pain. Nobody likes them, but I saw them sitting here and I thought, you know what, let's try it. Never throw them away. Boy, I'm not sure this is good though. Does the bubbles go bad? Does cat knit bubbles go bad? I thought it was basically soap. It's not bad. Mm. I don't trust it. Let's say water, so can it work? I don't know. How bad could it be? Maybe does this smell good or bad? Mm. Okay, well, not bad, but don't be swapping moms, Maggie. You don't need that one. I'm gonna be more worried than entertained. I'm still not positive the soap is not okay, so I'm just gonna. That's enough of that. It was worth a try. Yeah, the Maggie Snacky ones. I'm sorry about that.
You won, buddy. You got out of the win. All right, kids. All right, I gotta get ready. We gotta make this mailbag happen. It's gonna be a short one today. Can I sit right here where all you kids are already? Oh, right here. Can I sit right here? Is there room for me, kiddos? All right. Hey, everybody. So, uh, it's mailbag. It's uh, 10 o'clock. It's Saturday. It's roughly 10 o'clock. I'm a minute early. That's fine. Uh, let's see. News of the week is our new mom cat, Trinket. Uh, not pregnant, turns out. She's not pregnant. She's just baking it. And um, I think I think it's the fact that she's in heat that um, has Maggie a little bit on edge around everybody since she showed up, since Trinket showed up. Maggie's been you know a little bit extra Maggie, I guess. So um, at least uh, we're keeping Trinket and Maggie apart now as a rule because every time that they get in the same space, Maggie starts uh, bothering Trinket. So. Uh, other than that, Maggie has been a little bit, you know, she, Maggie gets into it a little bit with, like you saw just a minute ago with Oshi, but that's nothing. That's just a lot of noise, um, mostly. So I'm not as worried about that. Oshi knows what she's doing and they, they know how to deal with each other. But Trinket seemed like she was just a little overwhelmed, so she doesn't have to deal with that. So that's why Trinket's in her room right now and Maggie's out. It's uh, one or the other for a while. Uh, let's see here. I wanted to check the camera angles before we really got started. Yeah, that looks pretty all right. Not too much I can do about it. It's actually, it seems like it's a little high, though, isn't it? Because you can't see the floor right there. 
How do you do? Maybe if we zoom in a little bit and then move the camera around. Let's try. We can do anything at all. What we want is this, and then maybe a little bit like that there. There. That really didn't help at all. Why, why does this seem like it's so gone up? Oh, okay. uh, I don't know. Everything feels a little bit off angle today. That's fine. Off kilter, right? That's it. Uh, it's a short mailbag, though. We'll get it. Uh, I was I stayed up irresponsibly late playing mail uh, mailbag. No, playing video games again. Probably shouldn't have done that, but uh, that's what happened. So. Uh, there's only one cure for that, of course. Without getting enough sleep, I'm going to be useless for anything today except playing more video games. That's what I think. Uh, oh, this is our reminder that the Danbury Animal Welfare Society, that's Dawes, they are the ones that, uh, you know, find us these kittens and that, um, uh, you know, manage the papers for the adoptions and stuff. They're the shelter that, you know, that does all the rescuing that we help uh, and our fosters for these days. So Dawes is having their annual, uh, their annual event, uh, and this year it looks like it's honoring Dr. Marty and Meg Goldstein uh, on September 17th, and it's probably not too late to think about signing up. Uh, they've got a Dawes uh, gala uh, website, but uh, you can just go to Dawes, Dawes.org, D-A-W-S, the Danbury Animal Welfare Society. And uh, I do always uh, recommend, you know, donating to them, um, you know, uh, especially... Uh, they are, you know, a 501c3, so if you feel like you needed something, uh, like to make a charitable donation for some reason, that's the definition of, uh, and they're just, they're good people, of course. Uh, they've been wonderful working with us. We really, really appreciate it. Okay. All right. That thing is just going to hide in the corner and make noise now, so I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to move this out of the way so we can really get rolling. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to start right in. Uh, with, like I said, we've only got a few boxes today, so it may go quickly, but I see some of them are sort of uh, hand-packaged stuff that might have some personal letters in it. Uh, here's open, so we'll see. Uh, this first one, oh, I noticed this one. Uh, it's got different cat stickers on each side. Look, this side we've got three cat astronauts uh, with little rocket boots on, which are super cool. On this side we have cat unicorns. Uh, and unicorns. They're each themed. Oh, here we've got astronauts with donuts. Oh, and a, uh, a mermaid. And then on this side, we've got the catcus. Uh, cat, cactus, yes. And on the top, we have an address with the Kitten Academy logo on it. Very fancy, very nice. And a couple of cat stickers chasing a mouse sticker, which is also cute. Very creative. And the return address says this is from Architect Cat. Architect Cat. Oh, look at that knife guard. Now that is the way to do it. Whoa, okay. That guy's a pro. Uh, let's see, knife guard. Wow, even with the, the font, I like it. <laughs> so cute. And the note. All right. Ooh, seal. My goodness. You went all out with uh, so many of my favorite things. Not only did you do sealing wax uh, with a real sealing wax stamp to seal this envelope, but somehow the wax is it's painted so that uh, you've got a color on top. Can you guys see that? So not only did they stamp it, they put some sort of ink on top of the stamp to make it really stand out. And it is a cat sitting on the moon. And in the moon, there are stars and uh, what looks like maybe a city scene. It's so hard to make out all the detail there, but I do believe that's what it is. So cute. Wow, okay, uh, let's get the letter open. Let's get the letter opener so I don't have to break the seal. That's too cute. I see this toy right on top it says greetings from Catsachusetts. And it is the state of Catsachusetts made out of cats. The, the Bay State has Bay has been crossed out and it says the Bay the Stray State. Okay. That's very cute. Oh, it's a postcard. It says, wish me you were here. Please send to Kitty, 1234 Feline Boulevard. <laughs> that is cute, too. Okay, all right. Let's get into the letter. The letter says, oh, I wondered why we had a Sitco uh, logo here. It says Catco, but I do see that's been kind of spelled out for us. That's another postcard that says Catco. It's a Sitco uh, parody there. Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and K.A., greeting from Catsachusetts, Ocean, Ocean, 
Ocean's sailing kits are excelling in their studies at the academy and even have time to participate in several extracurricular activities such as clubs and sports. They have become exceptional athletes playing varsity soccer, track and field, wrestling, gymnastics, and many others in the Mew England Kitty Athletic Conference. <laughs> yeah, I like that. They will be more than ready to play for the KBA, that's the Kitten Basketball Association, when they graduate, so I've enclosed some basketballs for them. There are also some soft spots cat treats for Ocean because she likes laying on soft spots. Oh, kind of appropriate. Uh, I guess we'll find that in a minute. Uh, I will have to think about what else I can send her before she goes to her forever home. Of course, my procrastination may get in the way. Case in point, I planned to send Crouton something when she first arrived at the Academy back in April, but never got around to it. I'm sending her a cookie catnip toy now because I kept, 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 because I kept calling her Cookie when she was first named since I couldn't remember her actual name for those first couple of weeks. Also included is a Dr. Pussum's catnip kicker toy for the new mom cat, who I hope will have a name that's easy, easier for me to remember. Uh, that, I guess we'll have to dig for too. A lot of the stuff is kind of packed in here, but that cookie is right on top. Um, unless, are these from Dr. Pussum? No, are these thing? No, I don't, I don't think they are actually, but. Okay, so let's unpack just a little bit of this. Just look at this, the way this is packed. This is so cute. This says Ocean's Kids KBA. This says, uh, as you see fit, the AYSF club, as you see fit. I love it. I just love it. That's so sweet. Oh, and these are the soft spots. Look at what they are, little soft treats, and it says Ocean, and you've written a heart on there. That's super cute, too. Okay, so that's the box. Now, let's see. Um, uh, a name that's easy for easier for me to remember. Well, it's Trinket, yes, but uh, that's she turns out to not be a mom cat, but I think she probably still gets the kicker anyway. Uh, let's see, and not to forget the renowned faculty, there are postcard cat toys with catnip for them to share. One says, greetings from Massachusetts, which is an obvious wordplay on Massachusetts, easy for me to say. And the other says, cat go, playing on the famous Sitco sign in Boston that can be seen from Fenway Park where the Red Sox play. I'm not a baseball fan, but it was comforting to see it lit up at night, especially when I stayed late at night or even overnight at my school nearby working on architecture projects for my thesis. Last but not least, I think you know what to do with the bag labeled AYSF. The As You See Fit Club at the Academy was something I thought up a while ago and wanted to have materialized. I know it's a cheesy, uh, I know it's cheesy, but at least it's keeping with the theme of having clubs at school. Okay, I'll stop embarrassing myself now. Love and Spoogles from Architect Cat. Uh, P.S. There needs to be a Kitten Academy special vocabulary guidebook. The only other K.A. word I know is a duder, but there are so many more words to learn. Well, Architect Cat, thank you so much for writing. Yes, uh, they're actually, they, they, they the, the mysterious, uh, all ubiquitous they, uh, there are people on our Discord who uh, maintain a dictionary of all of the terms that have sort of been mangled by and picked up then at Kitten Academy, much like a duder or a spoogle, spoogle instead of a snuggle, spoogle. Uh, honestly, I think, I think a fair number of these come out of typos from Discord that just kind of stuck. Um, uh, I think of Ian in particular has probably launched a number of these <laughs> from his typos. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's been, it's, uh, it's, it is something that kind of exists and I don't even know all of the words that are in use myself. And some of them are, are words, you know, obviously that aren't, weren't invented here, but just words that get a lot of use. Like, like saying died, uh, D I D E died, you know, for something that was so cute that you died, you know, that is certainly not invented here, but something that gets a lot of use. So a lot of that kind of stuff. Uh, anyway. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Let's see what this is all about then. So uh, I already showed the catnip kickers. They're super cute. And the cookie, very, very adorable. Uh, we saw the soft spots. This is new mom for deployment or endowment. Oh, and it's wrapped up in some fancy tissue. And I know that then this is for trinket. And uh, I think maybe what I'll do is just put it in my pocket. So I remember, to, oh, it's good. Yes, it is. Dr. Pushum's fresh fish nip. Uh, and it does. It looks uh, like a fish. It's got that cute little green pattern on it, too. And I'm going to put it here so that when I go upstairs, I can, I can toss it in her room. That way it'll be right there with me. And she can have it. Uh, I think she'll enjoy it quite a bit. She is very playful, and she loves to play. A uh, little trinket does, but I don't think she gets every opportunity um, because when it, she's not playing one-on-one, -on -one, she quickly gets sort of overwhelmed and goes into, like, growly mode and just kind of wants to hide, uh, which I think is a kind of a feeling a lot of us can relate to in a way. Um, but uh, she... Uh, 
if, if we can sort of keep it limited to play for her and, and, and make it, you know, one on one, like we did the other day here with Spy and her, uh, and he's, you know, he's he gets crazy uh, in his play. He needs a tom out more often than not. So uh, anyway, when she was playing just with him, she's fine. But then when she gets in the room with the whole family, it gets it sometimes it gets to be a little overwhelming. Uh, and then of course she can't be out at the same time as Maggie because she and Maggie aren't getting along. And uh, who can say why? I think it's just, uh, you know, Maggie does tend to be come on a little strong, and um, it seems like Trinket is a little bit of the shy type, so they just, they're just clashing, and that's okay, too. All right, as you see fit, look at that. We have treats. We have uh, Rachel Ray. Yeah, I know you can't see because Maggie's in the way. Maggie, let's move. Let's move. There you go. Go get that. Okay. We have Rachel Ray wheelies, the little swirly treats. I know DJ has given those to the cats in the past and uh, really likes to have those around to give out, so that's cute. And then some... Uh, uh, bakery cat, bo bochi, is that bochi, bochi, bakery cat, catnip munch, chicken and catnip recipe. Wow. Chicken, number one ingredient, oat flour, number two ingredient, if you were wondering. Uh, we don't actually get into catnip as an ingredient until way down there after uh, molasses. But uh, there is catnip, so I bet that's going to be really interesting. This is a weird, oh, it's a, it is, I was going to say a weird football shaped thing, but it actually says streamer football. Fairly descriptive. It's got a mylar ball on the inside uh, that's also been elongated to, to fit the football shape. And then it's got these ribbons on the end. And it looks like it would be really fun to throw around. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Let's see here. Oh, and we've got another uh, very similar kind of thing. So this is like made out of this rubber. Here we've got another rubber toy. This is JW brand, I guess. Uh, these are nice. Uh, this says bat me. Oh, feather ball. And that's exactly what it is. This is, this is kind of cool because what it is, is it's the, the rubber ball, sort of like this rubber ball. Uh, but for this one, the tail, the feather tail is attached to the bell. That's too big to fit through the hole. So the bell stuck inside and that's what the feathers attached, not the rubber, which is kind of cool because that distributes the force then from the kittens pulling on this, instead of having it pull on one little part of the rubber that would probably break. The bell is what's hitting uh, all of the rubber at once, and uh, that's, that's cool. It might last a little longer that way. Uh, whether that was for the reason for the design or not, it works out. Probably easier to assemble that way, too. This says, this is a Dr. Pussum's catnip pillow, too. On the back, it says, I once tried catnip, but I didn't inhale. Uh, famous quote, of course. Famous paraphrase, anyway. Ooh, here we have the basketball. A basketball. Oh, okay, that got away from me, but it was as you see fit, so I... I guess it decided what to do. Who's meowing and why? Well, let's see Ocean. I don't think that was her making the noise, though. Who's down here? Was that, was that you, Ocean? What were you just saying? Oh, no. It's Eddie and Ari, and they're talking to a bird. I think that was Eddie talking to a bird outside, actually, on the front porch. You don't normally hear Eddie talk very much. That's why I didn't know who the meow was, but I think that's who it had to be. So this is Pervana Colorado Kitty Kush Cat a Tonic. Ooh, leaf and flower meant uh, That sounds like some good stuff. Let's see how it smells. Mmm, very catnippy. Wow, and, and uh, they really pack it in here, too. That's like a brick, so... Uh, that's we'll have to try it out. Purvana brand. That's P U R R V A N A, and it looks like that's their website too. P U R R V A N A dot com. So uh, that's cool. We'll see how it compares how to our Yao and Doctor Pussums that we know are both very good cats. I love. Oh, there's a cat in the AYSF bag now. I wonder how to get so heavy. Who's in there? Is it Spy? It is Spy with the cat. I bet you can see him in there too. Isn't that adorable? Oh. Okay, well, there you go. As you see fit, well, that's a, a excellent purpose to put that bag to. How you can't both fit in there? It's a tiny bag. Well, let's see what else we got while they're playing with that. Uh, this is the KBA. This is for Ocean's Kids, so Spy and Team. And here we have two more, bas three more basketballs. What's one for each little kid? Very cute. Plus the, oh, we've got the KBA Kitten Basketball Association cards to put into their, their endowments. I like it. And a cat toy grab bag. Oh, with some classics. That's a set of four. That's perfect. Little matching fish and mylar balls. Where are they fish that? 
No, they're fish that have mylar as incorporated in the fish. Wow, this is like a fish crossed with a mylar ball in some uh, horrible mad scientist experiment. Who knew? Uh, I guess that's a cat's a love it though. It's a, a horrible mad scientist designing the world's greatest cat toy, perhaps. Uh, it's very cute, mylar ball fish. They're, they're very, very cute looking. I wonder if the kittens are gonna like them a lot. Hi, buddy. Can I take a picture of you sticking your head out of that box real quick with the bag before you move on? Because that's very, very cute. It's like, and the, with the Kitten Academy branding on there, what a photo. Oh my goodness, if only I had a real camera here. That'll have to do though. If only I had a real kitten here. Oh, oh if only I had a real kitten spy. Look at you in my bag. Look at you, half in the bag. Buddy, half in the bag. Do you sell it now? Okay, uh, Architect Cat, thank you so much. I love all this stuff. It's funny, too, because when I saw that there was a box from you in today's mailbag, uh, my first thought was really, oh, I can't wait to see the handwriting. Uh, such, such neat handwriting. Exactly as you'd expect. Somebody who probably has spent a lot of time at the drafting table. Uh, draftsman's handwriting is uh, always very nice. Okay. All right, uh, let's put that back together, and that will go down for endowments. This, I guess, I just have to set aside. Maybe I can use your box to put this stuff in, since the bag is uh, literally occupied. All right, we'll put this stuff in here. This is all as you see fit. All right, so that can all go right in there. Even the letters that you know, that's headed in the same direction. Hey, buddy, let me post those pictures real quick. I'm going to post them on, uh, put them on the uh, the Twitter too because they're very cute. Hang on one second. Here. Let's do that, and then we'll open something else. Which ones are these to pick, though? They're so silly. Oh, good, good, good photos. No. <clears throat> Where's the Twitter? Hey, bud. Hey, bud, that's a fun game, isn't it? Another bag is just your size. It does fit, doesn't it? Hang on one more second here, everybody. We're just going to put these on the Twitter real quick because these are just very cute. Yeah, I hope I picked the right ones. Okay, there we go. Good enough. All right. <clears throat> Next up, Architect Cat. One more time. Thank you so much. That's just some great stuff. And that's, I love the, the, the creativity, too, of the AYSF Club. Uh, that's established forever love. That's very cute. Uh, thank you so much for all of this. Okay. Ooh, here we have some receiving blankets. Uh, you can tell that they are receiving blankets because we've just received them. And they, oh, they have pumpkin spice latte on them. Oh, they have pumpkin spice latte receiving blankets. Who knew? That's super cute. Oh, DJ's going to get a real kick out of that. Uh, there is, oh, there's a note. It says, welcome to Kitten Academy Trinket. You've won the kitty lottery. These blankets will help keep your birthing box warm and toasty from Frozen Tundra Crew. Well, Frozen Tundra Crew, thank you so much. Uh, since it is a fall pumpkin themed latte baby blanket uh, going on here, I, I'm assuming that you will be okay if we just save this for whatever is the next mom birthing box that we set up, uh, which should be, you know, soon enough, I think. Uh, I told, um, when I was talking to Dawes about our next mom cat, I said, you know, uh, let's find out what's going on with Trinket first. Um, you know, we know she's not pregnant, uh, but I said, let's find out how her health is. Let's find out if she can sort of integrate and get around here. And if we can get her, uh, you know, if it seems like we're going to be able to keep her here until she gets adopted, which it does. Uh, having to manage her and Maggie separately is, is a little bit of a bother. We just can't be out around the faculty. So, um, so I think she's okay to probably stay here until... Uh, she gets adopted, uh, which is, you know, hopefully sooner rather than later. She is a real sweetheart, and she's good with most other cats, too, uh, but not in a, a big group situation, probably. She just kind of wants to have her own space and have things be a little bit, I think, she, she again, she loves to play, but just not in big groups. So, uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> this is a great bag for these kittens. For some reason, when we give them grocery bags, they never seem quite as involved, but this bag must be just the right size for a kitten, huh? Very cute. <clears throat> uh, what was I saying? Ocean um, something, something. I don't know. Okay. Next. Uh, next. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, getting her adopted and finding a new mom cat. Yeah, anyway, I told Dawes, uh, let's, let's figure that situation out first. Just see where we're at. 
and then we can see about maybe bringing in another try at, uh, at resting a, a mom cat that needs it. Uh, so there we go. All right, this says, this is from Norway Cat Fan. It says, so right in the return address. Oh, hey, this is some uh, some of those good silver vine uh, sticks that uh, have been very popular around here. Let's see, there's a note, one bag of silver vine sticks for faculty. You are awesome, Mr. A and Dr. DJ from Norway Cat Fan. Wow, you are awesome. That's a, that's a bold, strong statement right there. Three mice for the sailing kits. You are awesome. Okay, I think these are all going to end that way. Uh, three mice for as you see fit. You are awesome. Okay. Uh, what else? One bag silver vine sticks for trinket and mom cats at KA uh, from, I'm just going to say you from Norway cat fan part. It's more important than the you are awesome part. They're both good though. Uh, so one silver vine stick for trinket. Let's see. We've got a whole pack of two silver vine sticks for trinket endowments. Makes sense. Two silver vine sticks for tidbit endowments. Perfect. Okay. I think we got that all put together. So these are the, oh wait, oh, oh, I see. There's three different kinds of things. Okay, that was my mistake. Uh, so we have silver rind sticks, silver rind sticks. Okay, yes, yeah, so here we have regular old uh, silver rind sticks, a big hit that the kittens love to play with. There's two packs of those for Trinket and I think for Tidbit. Uh, so I'm going to have to write on those. And then we have also, uh, let's see. Two silver rind sticks, two silver rind sticks. Okay, so this is for, these are the silver rind sticks for Tidbit and for Trinket, I think. Uh, and then the other ones are bag of silver rind sticks for the faculty and a bag of silver rind sticks. Hang on, hang on. One bag of silver rind sticks for the faculty, one bag of silver rind sticks for Trinket and Mom Cat. Okay, so Trinket, um, Tidbit, and... Um, Trinket and Mom Cats. Okay, so Mom Cats, Tidbit, <coughs> Trinket, Faculty. Got it. I'm going to write that down before I forget it. These are really cool. By the way, these things, DJ's been getting these. I've seen a lot of the kids playing with these things. It's a silver vine stick that's been drilled through. They put raffia in it to give it a little bit of, like, you know, attractiveness and put these little stringy bits on the end. And then there's also a loop here with a little silver vine uh, nugget on it. Uh, which is also something that the cats love to play with. So they've added that on there for a little bit of extra fun. Uh, on top of that, we also have the mice. Like you mentioned, three mice for As You See Fit and the other three mice for uh, sailing kits. Okay, perfect. Now let's get a pen out and label all this what we think we have it figured out. So uh, this is uh, um, Tidbit. We'll write Tidbit. Perfect on one. Uh, put it in here. This will be our endowment box. So this can go here too. Uh, this one then is trinket. Perfect. Oh, she's gonna love that. And then we have the mice. Uh, let's see. For as you see fit, we can put those right over there. And the other mice were for uh, doo -doo 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 sailing kits. Ocean Plus is what I'm going to write in it. Ocean Plus over here. Perfect. And then we have one of these for silver vine sticks for faculty. Okay, I'm going to put that over here. And then the other silver vine sticks is bag of, bag of trinket and mom cats. So I'm going to write, I'm going to write trinket. Perfect. And put that right in there. Okay. Wow. Oh, that is awesome. Norway Cat Fan, thank you. You are awesome, Norway Cat Fan. I really appreciate it. And those are great little toys for the kittens. Those silver vine sticks, um, especially, like I said, those, those ones with the raffia, like the fancy ones that have all that stuff going on. Uh, DJ's been picking those up lately, and uh, we see the kittens playing with them all the time. They get, they get very involved sometimes. I don't know why I don't see one here right now. They must have uh, run off with it, actually, which also happens fairly often. Okay. Uh, let's keep going here. Let's try not to be too distracted. GA Girl. All right, GA Girl. Georgia Girl has sent us a catnip banana. I think we could have predicted, predicted that. And it says, enjoy your gift for the new Calico Mom Cat. Aw, from GA Girl. GA Girl, I hope uh, that, that the new Calico Mom Cat being Trinket, even though she's not a mom cat, you'd still want her to have a banana. I think you would. 
probably. So I'm gonna put that right there too. I don't know if I'll, I'll give her both catnips all at once. Maybe I give her the banana and save the the other one, or maybe not. Or we'll figure it out. We'll just uh, we'll kind of play it by ear. Thank you, uh, Chia girl. That's so sweet of you. And boy. I'll tell you what she loves is, uh, I know DJ moved the camera in the second annex, so you haven't been able to see it, but she's been spending all of her time on the very top of that cat tree that GA girl, uh, that the George girl sent, uh, that gray cat tree that's in the second annex now. Uh, she goes all the way up to the top and sits there, but now DJ moved the camera over onto the cat tree and it can't, it can't see the top of the cat tree. It's on, uh, I'll have to move it over to the other side of the room and then when she's up there, we can see, but she spends uh, almost all of her time when she's in there up there instead of over in her soft bed although this morning i saw she was in the soft bed so uh, very cute so uh, all right uh kitten academy uh callie's mom all right callie's mom let's see what we got in here oh a uh, big box okay and a little box uh oh i know what this is hang on now do you know what this is? I think you do, don't you? Uh, all right, the note says, thought the glow in the dark might be fun on the stream at night. Oh my goodness, well, glow in the dark is always fun. I love glow in the dark stuff. Uh, so that must be what's ever in this. It says, luminous pet bed. What? A glow in the dark pet bed? Uh, also, I feel like there might be another note then, so let me just take a look under the flaps in here. No? No? Okay, just the one note. Okay. Well, that's fine. So, uh, maybe you wanted them to go together. Let's see what kind of bed it is. Let's see what it looks like. I gotta see this. Ooh! Oh, I see. It's got a glow-in-the-dark star pattern on it. How fun is that? Oh. There we go. So uh, I'm assuming it's the star part that glows in the dark, the little stars. It's very cute. I still can't make out what kind of shape the bed itself might be, though. I guess we're going to have to, uh, I'm hesitant to pull it out because it's just going to pop open and then we'll never get it back together. I think it's kind of a flat thing. Let's see. Wow, that's big. That's very large. Uh, also, I feel like it's still kind of compressed, so I can't tell does it have like, you know, a little rim around it, or is it a, sort of a flat, just like a big old pillow to sit on? <sighs> I think we're going to have to just check and find out, because I really want to know what's up. So let's see. Uh, so I've been keeping stuff, uh, like I, I think I mentioned just in our last mailbag, I've gone through all the endowments, everything's sorted out right now, and the whole basement, uh, well, I've got some cleanup to do, but everything sorting-wise is very sorted out. It's very nice. Oh, it is just a giant pillow. Look at that. <gasps> the cats are going to love that. That is a perfect, like, cat bed or dog bed, I suppose. It's got to settle down a little in the middle from shipping. Uh, spy and, uh, that was just, uh, Spy and, uh, Crumb there. Wow. Looks like little spy glasses giving Crumb too much. Anyway, uh, I've got a bunch of stuff after we did all that sorting out. I kept uh, things for some themes that we have done before and will do again, or themes that we haven't even done yet, but that we've been sort of gathering up stuff for. And the space theme is one of those that is both categories, where we have lots of brand new stuff that goes really well with the spacey theme that I like to do. So we'll be revisiting that many times. Plus, we still have the rockets and all kinds of other space stuff that we have used before to use again. That's never going to fit back in that particular box. Uh, oh, and you also sent this, uh, which didn't include uh, any note that I can see. It says, collapsible cat scratcher lounge bed, and that's exactly what this is. It's that, it's that bed right there, which I think you can see from the overhead camera, the round one. That bed is, it's Custard's favorite bed in the, in the world, and I think I see everybody else using it fairly often, too. So it's a great, it turns out to be a great bed, and this is what it looks like when you get it, and it's just like that, it's just like the organ toy. It works the exact same way as this, where... You just uh, open it up and connect one end to the other, and then it's a round bed. So that's that's what this was when this came. I've shown you this before. It's just this though is magnetic, so you put the two ends together and they stick to themselves just like that, which is very nice. Uh, this is not magnetic. It comes with a giant and a couple giant industrial size rubber bands to hold the, the ends together, um, which. 
they, they honestly, it's not too great. And the, the rubber bands, not only do they break off, but can't see them as toys that they probably shouldn't see them as. Um, and so you'll notice on the, the one that we have, we've replaced them now with a big old binder clip, the biggest size binder clip. We just use that and hold the two ends together. And that works great. Uh, so anyway, this is another one of those great cat beds. Uh, it's surprisingly great, actually. I wouldn't have thought so. Um, but uh, this also, I don't know, I think that's the same size, actually. It looks like it would be smaller, but I think that's the exact same size, too. So that's super cute. I'm going to put that, um, yeah, I guess I'll, well, I don't want to start getting confused with that. I'm going to put it in here for now, I think. And this needs to go also in, not in there, though, in here. Now I am confused. It's too late. I didn't want to get confused and not confused. It's so easy to do these days. All right, let's, let's see what's next here. Uh, next up, Kitten Caboodle. All right, Kitten Caboodle. Look at that. Speaking of space theme, we've got an astronaut uh, sitting on a little tiny moon fishing. Uh, he's got his fishing pole out and he's fishing. Uh, that's super cute. We also have a corgi on the back drinking Starbucks and a little happy ice cream uh, sundae on the side, ice cream float on the side here. I guess uh, float because it's got some straws in it. Okay. So, Kitten Caboodle! All right. Oh, all right. Another knife guard. You guys just really don't trust me. That's fair. Fair enough. I get it. I wouldn't trust me either. Okay. Uh, okay to read on stream. Perfect. That's also good to know. Oh, this is one of those fun laser cut uh, pop-up cards. On the front, we have a picture of a, a window with four cats in it. There we go. And inside, oh, a giant cat playground. Look at that. There's a little, there's fish bones hanging over here. And there's a little, uh, like a, a bridge for them to cross. There's a cat actually on the bridge. And, uh, oh, I see, the, got, this one's got little, uh, this one actually has some, some cats in it, though. I, usually it's just silhouettes. And you've written, hi, kittens, hi, Maggie, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I hope the kittens enjoy destroying this card. Everything else in the box is for distribution as you see fit. Except the coffee, please don't give that to the cats. From Kitten Caboodle on Discord. Kitten Caboodle, thank you so much. It's nice to hear from you. Uh, the card is really cute. It's too nice for the cats to destroy um, and also, I noticed the roof has sparkles on it for a little bit of extra detail. And then again, like I said, we've seen lots of these sort of laser cut style pop-up cards. But this is the first one I've seen that's not just uh, plain, that uses anything printed on the inside uh, like these little kittens are. So that's super, super cute. And yes, they will they will absolutely destroy that. Like, uh, Maggie is the one that loves to tear up those cards, but anybody that sees them ends up getting into them. So here we have cat nibbly treats. These are wonderful, convenient treats. The cats love them. Uh, the cats love them. They're mostly just chicken, and uh, they're basically like chicken, uh, almost like gummies, but they've been pressed. Oh, this one's different. Uh, these are different, actually. They're all different. So it's the same idea as the ones that we're used to. The ones that we normally see are flat, like little strips of bacon. These are very close to that, but they're more like little, uh, they're, they're a little more three-dimensional. It says jerky, um, but it's still kind of the same ingredients. Chicken, fish, glycerin, uh, you know, et cetera. A, a mostly chicken uh, gummy kind of a thing. And then uh, this one, though, is like recognizably fish heads. You can see the eyes on the fish heads and everything. It says yummy cat treats chicken and fish recipe. It says nibbly wraps, and it does look like, it looks like what each one is, is a dried fish that then has been wrapped in a piece of the bacon kind of treat. It's just the bacon. It's, it's like, a, it's like you know what it is? It's if you made a fruit roll, except you made the fruit roll out of meat. That's what it is. So it's like a fruit roll made out of meat, a meat roll, if you will. And so they make something that look like little strips of bacon, and here they've taken a dried fish, a dried anchovy, according to the back, and they've wrapped it in one of those little uh, chicken bacon things. Now that is some fancy treat food, though. That's like the, the filet mignon, uh, the bacon wrap filet mignon of cat treats, I suppose. We'll see how they like it. Uh, this is High Horse Coffee Co. Uh, 40 below zero, any warmer, and in shorts weather. <laughs> I like that. Uh, where? Oh, Alberta, Canada. All right. Wow. Yeah, I guess they understand. Uh, that's super 
Uh, I'm excited to try that out. 40 below. 40 below zero is almost, I think it's it's right around 45 where the, the uh, centigrade and uh, Fahrenheit scales line up, right? Uh, so that's pretty close to that magic temperature too. Um, that's, uh, that's really cool. High horse. Awesome. Okay. Here we've got some more of those little uh, finger puppet. Oh, oh look, there's, uh, there's some more nibblies. All right. These are the original sort of flat bacon y ones that say Cadet Nibbly Grills. There's three of those, and then another set of the, the fancy wraps. And then we have these little tiny, like, finger puppet catnip toys. Here we have one that is, a, I think, a yellow lion. Here we've got, like, a, a hippo, a monkey with a banana. Oh, he's got the banana in his hand and his mouth. And then a mouse wearing a sweater. Those, these things are so cute. You saw it was the, the, there's a little hummingbird one that, that they pulled out when we were sent a set of this in the last mailbag. And it has been a popular toy that I've, been, I've seen them kicking around all over here. So uh, very, very cute. These, these are fun. They're, they're just fun. I'm just going to toss those right over there because those will definitely get all played with. Also, you included a couple of these cloth wrap springs. Easy for me to say. One of them with a pink panther print. Very cool. We're just going to toss that. I know it looks like I'm just throwing it away over my shoulder, but uh, that's, that's, that'll be fun for them. Plus a couple extra of these uh, squishy soccer balls, which are always a hit. We'll send one in each direction. Uh -huh. And then finally, Origin Tundra Treats. Oh, they're, they're like dried treats made with goat, venison, wild boar, duck, lamb, and mackerel. Wow, that's everything. Let's just put it all in. Uh... And it, uh, I think it's dried stuff. Wow. It's made it mostly of, oh, it's really just all that stuff dried and put together. Hmm. Very cool. Well, I bet they'll like that too. So this is cool. This is one of the things that I like about these, all of these cat treats that, that you have sent is that they're number one, you know, the, the primary ingredient in all of them is the meat product, which is good. Uh, some treats you don't see that, you know. So, so you know that we're, we're doing really well there. Uh, and uh, I haven't tried the Tundra, but it's just, you know, this is just dried meats, which is great, uh, fantastic. And we have tried some of the cat at Nibbly Grills, but this one, the one, the Nibbly Wraps, is uh, the little recognizable fish heads make it look so cool. Of course, I think we all know there's some kittens that just love those dried fish, and there's some that just will not touch them. So it'll be really interesting to see. Uh, I, I'm excited to try those out for treats and see who likes them and who doesn't, whether they get much play. Uh, all right, so let's put the coffee there. Let's keep rolling. Uh, what is next? Oh, here we go. The next one up is another box that is a hand packaged thing that, uh, oh, but I don't have a name on it that I recognize, do I? Kitten Caboodle, thank you so much. Uh, let's see here. We have another knife guard, another note, and a newspaper. Oh, a stack of newspapers. I like all of that. Uh, some local papers. Local papers are so fun to look at. They just, they really give you a certain... Uh, an experience I don't think that you get anywhere else of, uh, especially the local advertisements, I know I've said it a million times, are uh, so revealing of sort of the, the people and the, the culture and the, the local flavor in, in a way that, that I don't think you see uh, any other place. So, all right, just a note, okay to read. All right, let's check it out. The note says, just check it in. What a cute little kitty. Oh, we got some whiskers. Uh, to see how you've been. It says, hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Just a quick note to say hi and let everyone know Millet and Sydney are doing fine and have sent some of their whiskers. Millet and Sydney are doing fine and love to play and wrestle with each other. Uh, we've moved and they now get to see squirrels, rabbits, and all kinds of birds. In the box, you will find an array of toys to use as you see fit. Plus, a couple of things for you and DJ. Also, there are three whiskers from the boys for DJ. I, was, uh, I want to add my thank you for all you do uh, in bringing each class into your home and heart and also allowing us to watch each class glow, grow and learn to cat. Easy for me. 
to say. Okay, and also allowing us to watch each class glow, glow. I keep saying glow, why? Allowing us to watch each class glow and learn to cat. Uh, meow meow from Millet and Sydney and I from their human mom, Kathy. Oh, Kathy, thank you so much. Oh, DJ's gonna love uh, seeing a little update from her Millet, especially, and uh, Sid too. Uh, there's a folder here. Uh, the folder contains, oh, some photographs. Wow. Uh, Millet's turned kind of a big boy, hasn't he? I don't think I realized from the alumni spam. Oh, but look at that. You've really caught his face, though. Every single one of these is such a Millet expression. And little Sid looks like he's just the same. Uh, so uh, these pictures probably aren't coming over too well, but I know that these have probably been posted on the Discord already anyway. That face right there, that's 100% little millet, isn't it? It looks like when you're pulling him away from the shrimp. Uh, and so is this. <laughs> so cute. I'm going to put these together in the folder and pass all this to DJ at once because she's just going to love seeing it. Uh, thank you so much for that part. Okay. There we go. Oh, tiny little millet. Boy, he was such a little special one. Uh, let's see. Okay, so what else is in here? Well, let's see. We got this uh, round knit bed. Oh, I bet cats are going to love that. And uh, this is also a fun thing to put inside, like, the, the round pods that we have. This would be the perfect thing to put in that, that black pod with the clear top. It would be just exactly the right fit. I bet they would love it, and it would really make it look nice. Oh, perfect for that. Uh, here we've got an ear of corn, a corn kicker to go with all of our uh, um, uh, carrot kickers, I guess. Uh, the corn's got a little more going on than the carrot, though, because he's got this little bit of raffia in here for this corn husk. Uh, that's nice. Wow. Uh, that's that's going to be a fun one. Okay. Here, oh, no. I just saw what you sent for us. It's the worst. It is, I've got a confession to make. We'll get to it. Okay, first, oh, this is way cool. This space cat, he's got a lightning bolt on his eye and this really bold, uh, this whole costume, but his boots, his moon boots, oh my goodness, look at this. So we've got a kitty inside a rocket ship. The rocket ship is way cool, uh, but this kitty cat astronaut has the lightning bolt across his eye. He's got this uh, fruit stripe gum uh, suit on and these sparkly moon boots on these, these legs that you can pull. <laughs> They're on like little springy legs. <laughs> That is so cool. That is so cool. It's so cool you sent two of them, which I love. Thank you so much for that. You sent a taco toy. Oh, hang on. Okay, so you sent a taco toy. Here we have a Mr. and Mrs. Taco set, and uh, I think, uh, oh, a soda with them. It says Kitty Pop, and it's, uh, it's fizzing out. That's so cool. So here we have a taco. Uh, on top, we have Mr. Taco. He's got this big red jalapeno on his head. He's got a mustache, so you can tell he's Mr. Taco. And here we have Mrs. Taco, who has a bow on her head and uh, heart-shaped little glasses. And then on the side, we have a, a, a soda that says Kitty Pop, and it's exploding with these, these ribbons out the top of soda, which are sparkly, just like a and it's like cola colored. Very clever little toy. Uh, and more clever toys, too. Here we have uh, a crab, with, uh, and on the little crab claws, he's got jingly bells. And next to him, an oyster with a pearl. And the pearl inside has a little smiley face on it. It's got a flap, so it can open up. And the flap's got a little crinkly in it, so it crinkles when it opens and closes. That is so cute. Wow. Did you hear about the pair of oysters that wouldn't give up its pearls? They were too shellfish. <laughs> they were too... Okay, uh, that guy. Uh, so here we have a manta ray toy. Wow, this is some really creative toys. They're all Whisker City brand, I guess. Oh, no, I guess not. Uh, this is Vibrant Life brand. Vibrant Life brand. This is Whisker City brand. This is, uh, oh, this is too cute. Uh, oh, I see. Okay, so what, what we have is uh, some sort of a, like a manta ray. Uh, he's got a really cute little smiley face. He's got this tail with a feather, I mean, with a, with a bell and uh, these, these uh, little ribbons. Very, very cute. I love his purple color. He's furry on one side. Uh, the embroidery is beautiful. But the cutest thing is, hang on, I got to, there we go. Okay. Uh, the cute, it was, it was stuck with this little piece of plastic so it wouldn't come out uh, in, in shipping. He's got this little fish attached to him on a string, the little tiny fish. And he's got a pouch, like a, like a marsupial, for the fish to go into, as you can see, just like that. 
Uh, or, I don't know, to put some catnip in, but uh, the fish was half in there when we started, and that's where the string goes, so I assume the fish is going to go into the little pouch. Uh, yeah, that's very, very cute. I don't know if that's a manta ray thing or not, <clears throat> but it's super, super adorable. Uh, does this toy have a name? It doesn't. Just Whisker City. Oh, Surprise Ray, it says. Uh, Whisker City Surprise Ray. Okay, so that's super cute, too. Uh, whisker City. Oh, wow. This one is the, the other oyster in that pair. Wow. Look at that. So th this is so cool. Look at it. It's a rainbow, but it's super sparkly. And it's a, it's a cloth material, though. It's very soft for being so sparkly. I don't, uh, it reminds me that, um, that uh, what's the hyper material from uh, the Back to the Future Future? It doesn't matter. This is, uh, that's really, really pretty sparkly stuff. And the, the oyster, the pearl on this oyster is on a, a uh, little plastic lanyard thing and also has a smiley face on it. It's very shiny. That's super cute. And this one's got a little bit of Velcro so you can hold it shut. That's so fun for like an ocean theme. That's so cute for ocean's kids, for ocean's theme. That's just adorable. Uh, here we have, are these kickers? What are these? Six pieces catnip toy. I have, this is the first, I got to open this and take a look at this because this is the first time I've seen a toy uh, made out of the bed material, the, the marshmallow bed material. We got to see what this is. I got to know what a five dollar milkshake tastes like. Uh, okay, so that's exactly what it is, though. It's a catnip kicker. There are six of them in here, uh, three colors, six kickers. It looks like it would make a good one, and I can feel it's mostly fiber fill with a with an end that's got a catnip wad in it there to, to bring the catnip. That seems like it would make a good kicker, actually. I think they're going to like that. Uh, I like it. So that'll be a fun one. We haven't seen that kind of a kicker before. Uh, we also have the, the mice, little Logan mice, I guess I'll call them. These are the little mice with the, the tail that Logan loves to play fetch with, that so many other cats love to play fetch with, too. Uh, all right. Um, wow, so much. You packed so much into this box. I can't even believe it. Uh, so... Oh, look at this. More of these little guys. I don't, whoops. Okay. Uh, these, uh, this one has little stripes and a face. And this one, whoops, is a, it looks like a little bear wearing a t-shirt. I think he's a, well, a bear. He's, he's just flying right out of my hands. Now, these must be from a different brand because these, I can, I can feel the catnip in them. Uh, and they're also just a tiny bit more detailed. Like you saw that other uh, tiger was sort of one color. And this one's got some stripes in it. Uh, this says... Best Life Pets, uh, Meow Mini Mart. That's a cute name, the MeowMiniMart.com. So uh, that must be where those come from, MeowMiniMart.com. Very cute. All right. Uh, those two are super cute. We'll just let those hang out here with the other ones and put this back there. Why not? Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get all the cat stuff out before I, I get to the part that's not for cats and, and make my confession to all of you, too. I think that's where we are there. Okay, look at that. These are uh, little uh, polar fleece, polar fleece. Uh, uh, what do you call these little balls? Like you make out of yarn. Uh, I had, a, I used to have a name for these. Um, I mean, uh, I used to have a name for those way back when I was a kid, and we would make those out of yarn. Uh, it was, I think it was something other than pom pom balls, but I guess that's what they are. So we'll go with that. I just can't think of what I'm trying to get. Uh, my brain's not helping me out. Sorry, jellyfish. I was going to say octopus, but it's clearly a jellyfish, and it says it's a jellyfish, so we'll go with jellyfish. Um, this is a jellyfish wand. It's got a little string there, but I'm not going to take it off the card yet. And uh, again, with the, this this cute fabric for the uh, the stripy fabric that's kind of crinkly, and that's good. That's it's really a nice toy. Okay, then some kind of a bed that we're going to have to see, I think, to understand, because on the outside it only says cat bed for indoor. So let's see what it is. Hi, buddy, spy. Don't get into that stuff, okay? Oh. Well, it's cute. I can see it's cute because it's got eyes and it's got uh, some sort of a little fin or something on the back. Let's keep looking. we got to go deeper. Uh, let's see. I'm assuming it's some kind of aquatic life based on the little fin thing and the ocean theme that we've got going here. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, uh-huh, 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. I think I'm starting to see though. Uh, that's oh, it's the pufferfish. It's the same pufferfish from upstairs. I should have recognized him sooner. Now I recognize him. Okay. So whoever likes the pufferfish best, we've, we've got a brand new one here, or they can end up taking the used one home, and we can save this for uh, the the sort of ocean front theme, the water theme that. Uh, we, we seem to keep returning to. We've got all kinds of stuff for that, like that little lighthouse toy that uh, hasn't even made it out for this class. So uh, perfect, yeah, that's that's a familiar little bed. It's very cute. Let's see if I can get it back into this plastic just for fun. That way it still it counts as brand new. and unopened, doesn't it? Huh. Okay, that's a, such a cute bed though. These kids hardly used it at all. And it's so cute. I guess it's one of those things where you just kind of got to save it for the next class because somebody's going to think it's the best thing ever. I do. I think it's adorable. All right. Uh, so, uh, well, that's that box, but that box isn't big enough. We're going to have to shuffle things. So for now, I'm just going to put it over here. All right, Spy. All right. So anyway, the whole thing I was going to say is that somebody, I don't know if it was you, uh, or it might have been you, or it might have been somebody else, sent us a while ago um like a like a gift box set of biscoff uh biscoff cookies which we have right here um these are really really uh, they're really yummy sort of uh i would call them spice cookies uh they're not exactly like uh pumpkin spice they're more like a like a uh well let's see what does it say is it, uh, it doesn't give it away cinnamony though yeah definitely it's definitely got a real cinnamony flavor to it so uh, sort of a cinnamon spicy cookie, and not spicy like hot, spicy just like flavor. Like it's got the, that, that sort of a, like, like when you eat a spice cake, it's not spicy hot cake, it's spicy cake like a, you know, whatever. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, they're really super, super yummy. If you've flown anywhere lately, they seem to have taken the place of every other sort of uh, thing that you might get. Like you don't get peanuts anymore, you get Biscoff, I think, on most, some, one airline maybe, I don't even know. I haven't flown lately, so what am I talking about? Uh, anyway, DJ introduced them to me originally, and they're really good. So uh, whoever it was that sent the gift bag of Biscoff, though, also previously sent uh, Biscoff cookie butter. And here we have Biscoff regular cookie butter and Biscoff crunchy cookie butter. Um, so uh, I will tell you that we have not finished the, the regular and crunchy cookie butter that we got before um, from whoever sent them, them previously. I didn't know what I was going to do with them. It turns out they're awesome. They're so good. Uh, I, I did find some fun stuff to do with them. Like I made uh, peanut butter cups with chocolate, except instead of putting peanut butter in the middle, of course, I put in the Biscoff cookie butter. So good. The uh, I find that the crunchy one, I like the texture better. I like having a little bit of texture. I like the crunchy one better than the regular one. Uh, and I find that uh, um, when I put it in the chocolate, it, it needed even like it felt like it needed just even a little more sweetness in it than than even that, uh, which is crazy to say because this stuff is very sweet. Anyway, it's so good. Uh, and the confession I was going to make, of course, is that just last night I found myself uh, without any Biscoff cookies, but I did have uh, Parlay G. They're little. Um, they're gluten. Not, not gluten. They're uh, uh, what do you call? Um, they're just little cookies that, that you give to kids when they're hungry, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, very much sort of like a Biscoff, but with less flavor, like a, like a graham cracker. Uh, it's like a graham cracker. Anyway, so I'm sitting there with these graham crackers and I'm, I'm smearing cookie butter, Biscoff cookie butter on them and eating them while playing video games in bed. It was the, this is like a throwback to me in high school. My mom's going to be like, yeah, that sounds, that sounds familiar. Uh, playing video games and eating terrible, terrible food. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, that was what I was doing with the Biscoff uh, just last night even. So you also said Biscoff and Go. I haven't seen this before, but it is just, uh, it's like when you used to get the little uh, cheese cracker kits, uh, except this has sticks and Biscoff. Perfect. And then uh, that's it for the Biscoff collection, I think. You also sent these perfect stickers. These are like some 3D stickers though. I think they're stickers, yes, not magnets. 3D stickers. It actually says 3D stickers. Yeah, it's very, uh, it says perfect. We got kitties. We got these little cats rule stuff that look like cats uh, collars. Cute, cute, cute stickers. I don't know if I can put a 3D sticker on all my uh, laptop project like I'm talking about covering with stickers because then it's going to stick out and hit everything. Now, where did you find this? This is so cute. I didn't expect that at all. It is a snow globe. 
except instead of being a snow globe, it's an astronaut cat. And the, the snow is little sparkles in his space helmet, and he's holding a star. I can't think of anything more perfect. I just, I, I completely love it. It goes great with the little space theme that we're doing. I love the whole astronaut cat thing. And I love the little sparkly snow globe effect. It's, it's interactive, you know, it's not just a little sculpture. That is so cute. Oh my goodness, I didn't expect it. Uh, uh, and then we wrap up with the uh, the coffee mug. Don't stress me out, insulated coffee mug. Those are, those are great. I, I use those things so much. I love having the insulated coffee mug. I like these metal ones a lot. Um, and uh, I got the time for a Tom out one. Like whenever we put up a design, I always make sure they're available with this. And I always, I always want to buy our own designs on these because I, I love to use them. Uh, I recently found out though, uh, DJ actually prefers the plastic, not, not just the plastic mug, but the, you know, the double wall insulated mugs that you can get that are made of plastic instead of metal. She likes the, ow, oh, buddy. Oh, careful where you bite. <laughs> you gotta get to stick to biting on this, okay? Um, she actually likes the ones that are the plastic double walled insulated ones with the, the, the handle on the side that look more like a coffee mug except extra big because they're plastic and double insulated. I know you know the ones. You've probably seen her carrying it around. You've seen me using one before. Um, and uh, she thinks those are the ones that are just the real winner. Uh, I like the metal ones better personally, but you know, to each their own. Uh, they're, they're both awesome. This is such an amazing set of stuff. I was just about to start packing it all up, but I realized we've got more boxes to go through. I don't know how you follow that with anything else, but uh, considering this is all kind of stuff that's theoretically as you see fit, as much as some of it's kind of ocean themed, um, uh, I'm going to put it in this box and we're going to turn this into sort of like a as you see fit box, I guess. Thank you, by the way, for the papers, too. I know I glossed right over those, uh, but I, I love reading these, and I'm excited to take a look at them. Ooh, a remarkable find. A skeleton teeth. What did they find? Oh, oh, wow. Okay, people, though. Not, uh, okay, that is remarkable, though. I was thinking dinosaurs. <laughs> that really, oh, I see. It looked like a dinosaur tooth, but when I look again, it's like a, like, like a mold of an entire jaw. I just ate two. That was my confusion. Okay. All right, well, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, I had a knife, there it is. All right, this says Callie's mom. All right, I think that's uh, two for Callie's mom today, right? Oh, oh, it looks very familiar, actually. Actually, it looks doubly familiar because I am positive, well, hang on. Let's start here. Uh, this is oof, that same probably glow-in-the-dark print, except this one is some kind of a cat bed box. Uh, it's so heavy. Why is it so heavy? Uh, maybe it's a whole tunnel. Maybe it pulls out into a big square tunnel. Um, I don't know for sure. But I don't think your notes got packaged with all the right stuff necessarily. Maybe. Hang on. What is this? Thought the glow in the dark might be fun on the stream at night. Okay, well, that's all you say. Uh, it's very heavy. It will be fun. Let's save some of the surprise for later. <clears throat> My guess, though, is that it pulls out into a, a square tunnel uh, with this scratching post material around the outside. Uh, that's, that's solid. I mean, this thing is heavy. It's very heavy. Um, and then the other thing you say, I figured you might be running low with spy. Uh, it's almost Christmas. Thank you for all you do uh, from Callie's mom, of course. So, uh, yes, and what you sent that, that we're running out of was spy is the sugar, chicken and gravy. Because at first this was all he would eat. The only thing he would eat. Uh, now he's, thank goodness, uh, gotten over that. But yeah, we went through a little bit of it with him. Uh, so uh, I'm glad he's figured out how to, how to just eat regular food like everybody else. Okay. Well, look at that. Uh, now we have, oh, I was going to say, uh, the reason that this material is, uh, the, this gold and dark thing, I'm pretty sure there's another blanket that I already set aside that matches the same material, too, with the space theme stuff. Like, I'm going to have to go look. It may also be glow in the dark. Who knows? Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't. So, so why am I asking you? If I don't know, how would you know? All right. Can I get this in this box? I really got to push on that blanket, the uh, bed part. 
Well, it doesn't quite fit, but we can make it stay. That's all. Okay, two more little packages. Here we go. <clears throat> all right, let's start here. This is a drop shipment, uh, and it's tiny, and so there's probably not going to be any note or explanation. Let's see what we get. Huh? Right? Oh, it's tinier than that. It says Smart Rotating Ball, a pet gravity brand, pet gravity brand, Smart Rotating Ball. We have one in a very uh, teal color and one in sort of a pink color. They look like little smart, uh, they look like little uh, motorized balls like we see here all the time. Probably not remote controlled, probably just kind of goes, press the button, starts going. All right. Uh, normal mode, shuts down after five minutes. Smart mode, oh, uh, goes after goes for five minutes and then starts again anytime the cat touches it. I see. Perfect. Well, those are great toys, and I probably have a private message on Discord somewhere telling me about those and what to do with them, uh, I'm guessing. Uh, we'll find out. I'll go looking for that. We'll get them into the right hands. Okay, now, oh, there it is. Okay, okay. One last thing then. Uh, thank you to whomever sent those balls. Those are going to be really fun. I love little tech toys like that for the cats. You saw we were just playing with some before this, this uh, mailbag today. Some of you saw anyway. Oh, oh, well, we know what this is then. Look at those. Those are great. Uh, the, the patterns on these are spectacular. Oh, really nice. I like that. Uh, oh, and another one with sealing, real sealing wax. Mm. So fancy here at this academy. Sealing wax on our envelopes. All right, here we have a little kitty tucked in happy in his bed. It says, what a wonderful day to be a cat. Love, true blue. Aw, that's so sweet. And, uh, whoops, also a note. Okay, and the note says, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I know fostering isn't always as easy as you make it seem. The responsibilities must seem as vast as the ocean. But you have just what it takes to see what needs to be done. You measure kitten accomplishments from the tiniest steps to the biggest leaps, and while you may look to the stars for guidance, there's always an, um, an unseen, almost magnetic force pointing you in the right direction. The fronts of each of Ocean's sailing kits kickers represent their voyages through life, but have the sandy backside for the stability of land, which will be their adooters. That's cute. Each kicker also has a litter, little helper in the fringe to always direct them to what's important. Aw, in the fringe. Oh, that's cute. I see. The fringes are the mix of the other patterns. Uh, that's so sweet. So each one's fringe has the other, the other patterns on it. Does that make sense? I think it does. Thank you for what you do and for the joy you bring to many, many lives. Love, true blue. Aw, that's so cute. That is so cute. Um, I don't know where I'm putting that. Okay, so <laughs> that's fine. Let's just keep going here. Here we have, all right, Ocean. Ocean gets this, aw, oh, that's so cute. Ocean gets this, this print that's got these uh, um, uh, little shells on it. This one has starfish for spyglass. This one has sand dollars for caliper. Oh, sand dollars and uh, other things, too. We, we've also got oysters and uh, um, sand dollars and um, uh, starfish. Yeah, easy for me to say. And then this last one fe prominently features some crabs, but there's also a uh, shrimp and uh, some sort of a conch shell, I think, and a fish on there, but the crab is front and center, and that one is, of course, uh, for, for Astro. So very, very cute. Okay. Let's put those back in here to keep that catnip fresh. So catnipy. All right. All right, and that then, that's everything for today's mailbag. Thank you so much for joining me. How do we do? Oh, over an hour. I thought it was going to be a fast one, but I guess I kind of uh, rambled a little bit here and there. And just such special stuff that it just really deserves to be fully appreciated. So thank you guys all so much. It's it's wonderful. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get up and try to clear all of this out uh, appropriately, and then we'll end the archive. And then I will get on with the rest of my day, which I think is mostly about being too tired to do anything except uh, play more video games, stay up all night playing video games. It's a real self-perpetuating cycle, especially when uh, I, I aim to deliberately perpetuate it the way I am today. All right. Okay. Uh, all right, so here we go. Oh, I'm banana. Ah, wow, these.
right now. Which cameras are on? I should check that a little more frequently, perhaps. Is the cat is the camera on camera on? It is. Okay, good. That's at least good. Oh, she is in her soft bed right now. Let me put that on. She's so sweet. Uh, oh, I went. I left earlier to get a zip tie before mail bag, and then I forgot. There's no zip tie here. Did you do that? Nice job, me. Go in there with this goes in the endowment box, which is here. And this goes over here. And these go over here. Yes, that's correct. And these can be carried downstairs in here. That's how they go downstairs. bag is like so it's that bag that says as you see fit club as, as basically like it is the club like it, it, there's only room for one person in the club though <laughs> very exclusive club Hey, we missed something. Uh, oh, oh gosh. And I know you guys are probably yelling at me about it too. Uh, but now I need to figure out which box this came out of though. Didn't this come from the, uh, uh, um, oh my goodness, I'm so bad at this. Didn't this come from the um, uh, the uh, the uh, catatonic one? The, um, oh my goodness. Uh, okay, so this is, this is the one from Kathy, Millet Kathy. And then, uh, this is what I get. Kitten Caboodle is what I meant. I said catatonic. I meant Kitten Caboodle. So that's that's what I think. But somebody, let me check the Discord. We'll see. Somebody knows exactly where this came from. You guys are probably on the Discord yelling at me. Oh, you forgot one. All right, hang on. We did forget one. Let's take a quick look, and then I'll look at my phone. Oh, how cool. It's, uh, it's Freddie Mercury on stage, except... Um, in doing you know, his, his iconic pose with one arm up in the air. Uh, but uh, he's performing to a, an audience of cats. Oh, it says, Don't Stop Meow. I see. It says, Don't Stop Meow on this side. He's performing to an audience of cats with a cat toy and stuff going on. And there you go. That's so cool. I love it. Don't Stop Meow. I am having such a good time. Uh, so that's so cute. Oh, there's some other stuff in here too. It says, get a free mug coaster that says, don't stop me out. We leave a review on Amazon. Well, all right, but, uh, that's cute. But uh, on the bottom, they've tried to encourage us to do that review by, uh, it's time for your performance review meme in the box. That's very cute. It's nice. It's nice when a company is all meme -y and stuff, but I'm still not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna write an Amazon review. Uh, it's a mug. What are you going to review anyway? Come on, people. Haven't we taken this whole thing a little too far? You put coffee in it. Uh, you can see what it looks like. You don't have to review that part. It's so cute. I really love it. Thank you. Uh, thank you, presumably, to uh, Kitten Caboodle, I think. Uh, but, uh, but thank you to all of you. Okay. <laughs> 
club. Let me move the club out of here. It was, yes, okay, I see people saying, oh, I hope you find Kit and Caboodle's surprise. There you go, don't stop me now. I love it. Okay, good, so it was located, all right, those can go there, this is going the other way, this, and this, all right, hang on, this has got to go with the special stuff right here, I think. Broken my hat, so cute. Now I'm going to have that song stuck in my head all morning. It's a catchy one. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, so much Biscoff. Now I'm going to have to find more fun stuff to do with that cookie butter. Besides just, I don't know, smearing it on top of other cookies and eating them. <laughs> oh, it's so awful. I feel so bad just for having done it. Like, regardless of, like, you know, the calorie count or anything. Just, just living in this world where I'm laying in bed playing video games and smearing cookie butter on cookies. <sighs> I don't know. It was fun. I had fun. You know, I don't have to judge it. I can just let myself have fun once in a while. I don't have to be all judgy. I got a lot of that going on right now. I want to try these treats. Let's try one right now. Maggie, you're pretty treaty. Let's try this. You like treats. I mean, See if you like this crazy looking tree that's got a fish wrapped in bacon. Can you guys see that? So that's really what it is. You can see the fish head on the, the end there, but um, uh, the rest of it is wrapped in a piece of chicken, more or less, dried chicken. Custard, will you try one? I think we're just going to end up with a bunch of these sitting here. These, these seem like too much complexity for, for these cats. We'll see. Somebody like spike or crumb, though, that, or or especially ocean is a food freak. She is crazy. Where is she? Oh, she oh she will like jump into the refrigerator every time the fridge opens so that she can get food out. I guess you guys don't like this, but wherever ocean is, God, go for this. Here, right here. Come here, Oshi. Oh, come on, let's give it to Mikey. What do you think, Mikey? Hey, Mikey, she likes it. It's a lot to chew on. Like this, it is a lot to chew on. It's a lot of work to eat this thing. You can imagine. Good. Good. Maybe I can use these to keep her distracted when I'm trying to eat a meal peacefully. We've had to keep Ocean out of the bedroom if DJ's eating in the bedroom. You've got to keep Ocean out because otherwise you just can't eat. All right, I'm gonna bring these up there with me. That's where DJ eats all of her meals, so that'd be the right place to keep a distracting treat, wouldn't it? Let's see if that works. These are gonna go downstairs. That's gonna go downstairs. You can get it all at once. Let's try it. Oh, come 
you go. Just with your everything. Uh, okay, there we go. I took a look while I was down there, by the way, that, that uh, I said that I thought we had another one of those glow-in-the-dark pattern items, uh, but it's a very similar pattern that doesn't look like uh, and is on a tunnel, which I think DJ has allocated to Crumb's endowment. So uh, in the spirit of, I think, trying, trying to near the endowment zone, uh, it's a nice, nice tunnel. I'm just going to really enjoy it. Oh wow, that coffee I can smell, that smells great. All right, I think that's it. Uh, we we gone through uh, everything you guys sent for the kittens. It's wonderful. Just so many fantastic, thoughtful things that came through. Um, and it's, it's so nice to, to get a chance to, to see you guys every weekend and, and chat and catch up on the news and uh, read about your lives, I think, is the part that's really fun for me. It's why I like to, to get the letters and stuff. Um, and it, uh, you know, it just it makes me feel a little more connected, and, and I really like that. So. Uh, thank you all so very, very much for everything. Uh, now, I'm going to end the archive. So if you're watching it live, uh, just keep going. And if you're not watching it live, then go check it out. The Kid Academy live stream. Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah. Okay. Let me get myself some uh, caffeine and some food and uh, lay in bed and shovel Biscoff uh, cookie butter directly into my stomach while I play video games. I think that's the plan. I wonder if we could use one of those uh, one of those feeding tubes from the kittens, maybe. <laughs>